In my lifetime, the world has changed. The painting, uh, I, I titled it The Air, The Forest, and The Watch, and so I was uh, interested in the atmosphere. My paintings are seldom simply portraits. They usually have some setting and uh, environment as well as, uh, of course, atmosphere between the subject and the background. I consider myself, I guess, an ecological painter. And so uh, the basic part of the ecology is the atmosphere or the air or the space and what we decide to do with the space. We need to pay attention to what we're to the world we're living in, what's happening to it, and in a dynamic kind of way, how is it changing and is it changing for the worse, which is most likely for the better if we can uh, make positive change. It's kind of insulting in a sense that we don't know the names of our neighbors or other species. We could have a species here drop out, become extinct because of something we're doing, and uh, we wouldn't notice if we hadn't known the names because Oh well, yeah, I love birds, I got a bird feeder, I got lots of birds, that's all I need to know. Uh-uh, no. Uh, showing that you respect something means you, you really need to know their names. It's important that we know the names and important that we understand the lives of the other living things around us uh, because we're, we're human beings, we're the, the top of the food chain, we're in charge. Our actions affect the lives of thousands of other creatures and vegetation. Um, and so we need to be aware and we need to be good stewards or future generations are going to have a much impoverished world and possibly a more dangerous world and a more hopeless world. And so the people that are alive right now, it's really important that they understand as much as possible about their neighbors of other species if we're going to um, have a, a joyful, in fact, even a safe future. My background is, uh, I've always been an artist and I've always been a naturalist. I, th I think you're born an artist or you're not. I concluded that after teaching for 30 years. I took geography at university in order to get free trips into the wilderness to paint. Uh, I love wilderness and there's no question I would try to go into the wilderness, but to have somebody actually pay me I was doing geology um, in Newfoundland and uh, a couple of trips to the Arctic and so I was doing research as a summer student or helping with it. But my aim was to have adventures in nature and to put them down in paint because that's basically who I am in my whole life. That's why I uh, took geography and including my life as a teacher is the lifestyle I've always wanted which is having adventures in nature and painting them. Here we are in the studio. This is where it happens. <laughs> I sit here, and uh, my paintings are usually around here. I have the window to look out and uh, check out the birds, check out the seasons as they roll by. This is where I spend my days. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the experience.